Hare Krishna. So we'll read from Srimad Bhagavatam, second canto, chapter 8, verse 10. So chapi jatra purusho, Vishwasthiti udva vapyaya, Muktyatma maya mayesa, Sete sarva guhasaya. Translation. Please also explain the personality of Godhead who lies in everyone's heart as the super soul and as the lord of all energy, but is untouched by his external energy. Purport by his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Undoubtedly, the form of lord who was seen by Brahma must be transcendental. Otherwise, how could he simply look upon the creative energy without being touched? It is also understood it is understood also that the Purusa, the same Purusa lies in every, in heart of every living entities. This also requires proper explanations. Sajapi Jatra Purusa Vishwasthiti Udvavapyaya Muktatma Maya Maya Samseti Sarva Gohasa Parakit Maharaj was inquiring about the creation, about the Brahma, about the Supreme Personality of Godhead, about also the amazing qualities, his energies. Like here, Sachapiyatra Purusha Vishwasthiti Udbhavapyaya Muktat Mahatmaya Sasethi Sarva Guhasaya Please also explain the Personality of Godhead who lies in everyone's heart as the super soul and as the lord of all energy, but it's untouched by his external energy. And this is, a, you can see the extraordinary qualities of Supreme Personality of Godhead. He created all living entities. He created all material things. He created, created external energy also, but untouched. Yeah, in Bhagavad Gita also Krishna said same thing. I am untouched. This is inconceivable matters. The creation, the maintenance, the annihilation, everything is inconceivable, beyond our imagination. Spiritual, spiritual life, spiritual matter, spiritual contents, everything is beyond our imagination. We cannot calculate. And when you want to imagine all these things, even through your fear intelligent, that is not fear intelligent. Maybe intelligent in mood of goodness, then still you will build it. If you will be built it. Yeah. The spiritual topic is beyond our imagination. Therefore, now the scientists, the so called scholars, they used to say this is mythology. Why they are saying mythology? Beyond their intelligence. Yeah. Everything, what we are following, that is beyond our intelligence. Therefore, we are using this term, follower, following. One who is following, following means we don't have proper intelligence, we are following someone. Follower means we are follower of someone, we are following someone's intelligence. If we are intelligent, our intelligence only we are using intelligence to follow spiritual life, to follow acharyas, bas. That is proper intelligence, best intelligence, best procedure, whatever you may say. Here, uh, over, Prabhupada used to say, over intelligent, it's not good. <laughs> materially, materially, when we are studying, we require over intelligent. Eh? Unless you become over intelligent, everyone will lapse, everyone will, I can say, surface you. Over intelligent, everyone. Therefore, everyone is searching. This Google, this one, that one, paper, over intelligent. Here, no need. Here, only one intelligent can require. Which, 
which which intelligent bhagavad gita krishna said vyavsayatmika buddhi ekah kurunandana what is the meaning of vyavsayatmika buddhi this following simply following the order of spiritual master krishna this is vyavsayatmika following is easy or difficult easy you know following is easy for a simple if someone is very simple simple hearted person he can follow for intelligent following is very difficult now it is difficult why spiritual life is difficult we are very intelligent over intelligent always always like monkey we are always searching monkey you know he is always very intelligent never calm quiet never peace always using intelligent this monkey tendency our intelligence is always jumping from one branch to another branch why this thing happen why bro person why why always why why you know this is over intelligent proper intelligent means following and we are following such a path it is beyond our imagination therefore bhakti yoga is simultaneously easy and simultaneously difficult if you sim- if a, if you have simplicity you can follow easily then bhakti yoga is very easy for you and if you are intelligent you cannot follow the intelligent person cannot follow because he intelligent always great problem <laughs> why i will follow him for it is benefit that is happening following is not easy thing you understand and especially in kali yuga <laughs> and now and especially so much information sir there you cannot follow someone so easily no blindly here here you have to follow to whom you have to follow blindly this is my question to whom you should follow blindly yeah you have to follow blindly simply you have to follow blindly to whom you will follow intelligent will never allow you follow blindly even guru prabhupad yes that is philosophy but intelligent will never allow you to follow blindly always intelligent will give you direction why you are going this way whether this is right or wrong but here in shrimad bhagavatam all our topics all our path only leads towards one point you may you may you may inquire something spiritual about your spiritual life but you have to follow blindly because this is beyond our intelligence and this is our gurudev used to say this is how can you say fourth dimension things spiritual life means fourth dimension things can you show me anything fourth dimension in this material world can you show me anything any matter that is fourth dimension things here everything is three dimension and spiritual life huh fourth dimension <laughs> fourth dimension means our intelligent cannot follow it therefore we are defeated every step we are fail we are fail we are fail but never intelligent never admit our defeat yes we are trying we are trying but actually it is very difficult very difficult if you are simple then you can realize simply you have to follow the best procedure in spiritual life blindly with simple heart you have to follow sadhu guru and shastra you understand mind never allow you <laughs> intelligent will never allow you to follow blindly always he will show you the positive side negative side this happened to this devotee this happened to this devotee what will happen in future you know many devotees asking this question if you, if you will follow blindly then someone may cheat us yeah you already cheated many life in this life also many people already cheated you let try another time if you cheated by a spiritual person for it for it you are led cheated many times in this life also 
just one year two year before before your spiritual life many people already ch- cheated you so where is harm next time you should try cheated by krishna or cheated by devotee where is harm mind will never allow to become simple this is my trick maya will never allow you to become simple maya will never allow you to surrender so easily at lotus feet of sadhu and guru this is my power what krishna said in bhagavad gita mamma maya duratvaya this word duratvaya is there you know in in commentary what sridhar swami said about duratvaya hmm. uh, yes hmm. sridhar swami yes duratvaya ati adbhut ityi artha dustarah two word is there daivi hesa gunamayi mama maya daivi alaukiki atyanta adbhut adbhutam iti artha how imagining uh, how can you say power even you know this is maya but still cannot give up everyone knows what is maya who don't know what is maya only small child they don't know what is maya everyone knows what is maya you know or not you don't know what is maya that is good if you don't know that is good <laughs> if you don't know maya then you have to stay with krishna krishna will allow you to stay yes this is maya even you know everything still you don't have power to give up we know this is maya this is useless things everyone is running everyone is running behind maya nothing is there but still they cannot give up this is power of maya and krishna said mama maya <laughs> this is my power and dustara this word is there uh, duratvaya dustara very difficult to cross over this maya very difficult even you understand you are a spiritual person you know these things but never mala maya will allow you to become simple never maya will allow you to admit your fault yeah, that is maya's power in spiritual life what is maya even you don't have attachment towards omyan even you don't have attachment towards money even you don't have attachments towards power still maya is there what is maya's form in spiritual life even you are free from all this gross anarthas but subtle anarth is there what is that cooked yes cookedness this puja labha pratishta the name fame prestige address and come from cookedness maya never allow you to become simple you will play the role of a cooked person yeah maya knows if you become simple immediately you will receive mercy from krishna that were always intelligent this over intelligent or so called intelligent or intelligent always creating problem for us in the path of surrenderness always creating problem always creating problem you understand yes so therefore uh, Mm. Uh, we are discussing on which point i am just forgetting missing this point yeah fourth dimension we are following the path of fourth dimension that's when fourth dimension is there that is beyond our intelligent you understand beyond our intelligent we cannot imagine then what to do when you cannot imagine something then what you have to do take salt shelter in that when you understand this is this path is fourth dimension it is beyond my capacity then you will surrender so now our surrender is artificial <laughs> sometimes partial sometimes conditional the true surrender not when so we are facing some problems just surrender to krishna yes sometimes playing a role of a surrender soul artificial 
Yeah. Sometimes conditional. Okay, I will serve Krishna with this condition. I will serve Guru with this condition. If this thing will not happen, then I will not stay in ashram. Yeah, this is not surrender. This is not surrender. Yesterday we were discussing about surrender. And Rupa Goswami said these things in Nectar of Devotion. Surrender means like you went to a market. So, suppose you have a cow or you have a goat. You sold this cow or goat in the market. You understand? Once you sold it, finish. Your business is finished. You never used to think, okay, what will happen to my cow? Where he will sleep? How he will eat? Who will take care? No, you already sold. Bikkadita pasu yatha. So when we came to realize that the spiritual life is beyond our imagination, beyond our capacity, beyond our strength, beyond our intelligence, then we surrender. And what is the mood of surrender? Here, this is the mood of surrender. I sold my everything. This body, this mind, this intelligent. A lotus feet of Guru and Krishna. Many devotees, many, many devotees have this question or many people have this question. If someone is asking, someone is not asking. If simply I will, I will follow, then someone may cheat. Okay, someone you cheat, someone may cheat you. But actually if you are real simple, no one can cheat you. If you have simplicity, no one can cheat you. Why Krishna will cheat you? Krishna is, Krishna is super soul residing in your heart. Why he will cheat you? Anyone can give some example, I am very simple, but this person cheated me. Can you show? No. If this person is cheated, actually he is saving you. Maybe in future some danger will come. <laughs> Looks like he cheated you. No, no. Actually he saves you. Maybe other may cheat you, but Krishna will never cheat you. And if you become intelligent, you may cheat others, but Krishna will cheat you. <laughs> Which thing you want? What you want? Even you become intelligent, you may cheat others, but Krishna will cheat you in such a way, you can't get any shelter, materially and spiritually. Be ready. Yeah. Krishna don't like cheating propensity. Krishna don't like duplicitousness. No. Krishna and Vaishnavas, they like simplicity. But most of us have this propensity, crookedness. Mercy is available. Mercy is always available. We all, all, everyone is blaming to Krishna, directly or indirectly. Karmi people blaming directly. We are blaming. We are not saying, but inside, oh, why Guru is not, oh, why Gurudev is not showering mercy, why Krishna is not showering mercy. This is indirectly. We are blaming Guru. But we are not admitting our fault. Mercy is available. But why mercy is not, how can you say, falling down on our head? Like our Guru Dev used to say, mercy is hanging on your head. It's hanging on your head. Only you have to catch up it. Okay. Here is mercy. Because due to our crookedness, many saintly, per saintly persons, they are souring their mercy. Causeless mercy. They don't want causeless mercy. What is, what is the meaning of causeless mercy? Sadhus, always you can find in Prabhupada's writing, causeless mercy, causeless mercy, causeless mercy. Without? Uh, then, uh, then if it's, um, we don't want any qualification, <laughs> then what, why you have to chant? Why you have to become devotee? We are following all the rules and regulations to receive mercy. Our all sadhan, its aim, it leads how to receive mercy. Therefore, mercy is the cause of mercy. Therefore, it is causeless. There is no other way to receive mercy. There is no other way. No, mercy, only mercy is the cause of mercy. You understand? Very difficult topic. <laughs> How mercy is the cause of... Sadhana is not cause of mercy. We are performing sadhana just for purifying our anarthas. 
but we cannot demand to Krishna, I am doing this much round, I am coming every day Mangala Arati. Why not? You will not shower mercy. Anytime you ask to Krishna, why not you are showering mercy? You know, this mercy is Krishna's, uh, how can you say, his own power, his monopoly business. A, like a millionaire, a millionaire, whether he will give money or money to you or not, it is his business. You cannot interfere. It is his property. Who are you? You cannot ask. Only you can beg. If you receive mercy, of you, you, if you want to accept money from a millionaire person, what, what should be your qualification? This is my question. Huh? If you no beg, he will not give. You see many beggars are begging in front of temple. Many people are not giving. If you no beg, there is no guarantee. Only your qualification you have to pose as a beggar. I don't have money. Please give me. Whether he will give or not, it is his right. We don't have any right. But generally, if you beg, general principle is there and special principle is there. Beggar's duty is begging. You understand? He's begging. But whether a rich person will give or not, it depends on a rich person. But generally, it's happened. When a beggar is begging, a rich person used to give. But there is no certain principle. He always used to give. You know, sometimes people are begging, rich persons are not giving. And sometimes he is calling to someone and giving. On the way, on the street, they stop their vehicle, calling some boys. They are giving banana. He is not begging. The boy is just playing. Now his mercy is coming. His kindness is coming. Because he has money. Guru and Krishna is like that. So even though we are performing sadhan, we can't say, I will receive mercy. You understand? We are performing sadhan to please a pure devotee. Not that we have now rights to demand Krishna, give me mercy. Why you are coming to Mangalarati? Huh? Why you are coming to Mangalarati? Why you are hearing Bhagavatam? Why you are chanting? To please pure devotee. This is pure devotee's principle. This is Parampara's principle. We want to please Parampara Acharyas. Why? Mercy come through Parampara Acharyas. We are following Parampara principle. But what happens generally when we start to perform sadhan? We separate, we make separate ourselves from this mood. Which mood? I want mercy. Without mercy, even I cannot perform sadhan. You know, without mercy, our sadhan develops pride. Yeah, strictly we are performing sadhan, sometimes the pride nature develops. No one is like me. Every day I am coming to Mangalarati. 3.30 every day I am. You see, this, this Dambha, this pride camps. This pride camps. No. We are performing sadhana on the strength of Guru's mercy, Vaishnav's mercy, Krishna's mercy, Bhagavat mercy. Yes. Saintly persons, Acharyas, Gurus, they are showering mercy because due to our crookedness, we fail to realize you. He fails to receive these things. Yeah, always crookedness is there. So mercy, in, 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 in 3, 25, 30 lecture, Bhagavad, Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd canto, 25, uh, chapter 30 verse, Prabhupada said, as the mercy of Krishna comes through the parampara system, similarly, offering of respect to Krishna goes up through the parampara systems. Then mercy comes through parampara system and worship worship go to Krishna through so if you if you forget parampara system and you are worshipping Krishna how can you receive mercy? 
how can we receive mercy therefore we have to stick to parampara systems we are chanting six and round we are coming to mangala arati we are hearing shrimad bhagavatam we are following all the rules regulations why this is adapted adapted by parampara acharyas because mercy will come through parampara acharyas and what is our sadhan this is for, fourth dimension therefore how mercy will come many times devotee is thinking oh i am praying so much many many times devotee is saying every time co- coming and praying so much to krishna but krishna is not hearing <laughs> no, no, no no this is not the procedure mercy will come through parampara system through parampara system not that we will pray will if you will not follow parampara system mercy we, we cannot receive mercy even we are following therefore our sadhans mood of sadhan should lead towards parampara acharyas mood in which mood we have to perform sadhan how parampara acharyas they are carrying the mood Yeah, that is our, our ultimate aim of sadhan to understand the mood of acharyas ultimate unless we, if you fail to understand the mood of acharyas then we become weaker 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 but sadhan is going on you see sadhan become strong but spiritually we become weak what you are thinking sadhan is now strong every day six to now coming to mangalarti every day studying bhagavatam following all the principles but feeling weak many time this happen <laughs> everyone therefore everyone is thinking what i am following all the rules and regulations following all the rules and regulations but without understanding the mood of acharya you understand without understanding the mood of acharya you are following all the rules and regulations how how will receive mercy like without understanding like servant is coming without understanding owner's mood she or he is cooking cleaning but without understanding and she is thinking oh i am doing a best job but not understanding the mood of owner house owner i we used to give always this example what is the difference between maid servant and your chest wife we are not doing or we are not doing our service we are not performing our service like a maid servant maid servant is just doing a service as a matter of etiquette or as a matter of job this is my job i have to do it without understanding the mood but just wipe always try to understand the mood of a child yes the mood of sadhan the mood of service is how to understand the mood of acharyas because the, unless we understand nothing will reveal because this is fourth dimension we we'll chant then we understand how holy name is everything how will go to golok vrindavan how can i control my senses huh what you are thinking controlling senses is easy looks no practical not in this life maybe thousand of life i can't control impossible <laughs> huh? yes everything in spiritual life what is possible for us in spiritual life who can say what is possible for us in spiritual life what can i do anything possible for us huh nothing is possible for us this is spiritual life material life you become hero <laughs> no problem <laughs> but here you can't become hero here always parampara acharyas they are heroes veera yeah no one can take their position they are nitya siddhas you know in like heroes in out out sometimes amitabh bachchan hero then another hero is coming he take his position but here their position is always exclusive position no one can everyone is follower so in spiritual life nothing is possible for us anything is possible for us then 
then it is an impossible task. Then why will you follow? If you cannot understand, if you cannot do anything, then why will you follow? Sashipad. But although it is impossible, but it is possible. This is the mystery behind Bhakti Yoga. Bhakti Yoga is fourth dimension, fourth dimension things. Practically it is impossible for us to realize everything. How Tulsi is non different from Krishna. How Guru is non different from Krishna. How Deity is non different from Krishna. How Holy Name is non different from Krishna. How Bhagavatam is non different from Krishna. Because this is spiritual potency. And in our mind, yesterday we are discussing, in our mind always constant flow of material energy is going on. How can we understand the spiritual things? One thing is absolutely necessary. What is that? Spiritual potency. Mercy potency is required. Everything is impossible for us. To understand Bhagavatam is impossible. Preaching is also impossible. Preaching is, not, preaching is possible or impossible? We are preaching to everyone, <laughs> but we cannot preach to our mind. <laughs> we are a big preacher. <laughs> we are such a big preacher. We are convincing everyone, but not convincing to our mind. Yeah, I have to chant Hare Krishna. Krishna is my everything. Guru is my everything. You know, uh, we can convince thousand people, but we cannot convince our mad mind. We don't have power. Nothing is possible for us. But only one thing, our Gurudev used to say, one thing, mercy makes impossible to possible. Yes. This is the essence of spiritual life. Mercy makes impossible to possible. Therefore, Vishwana Chakur Thakur said, Jasya Prashadam, Vidhi is there, Nisad is there, Anva is there, Vetrik is there. Jasya Prashadat, Bhagavad Prashad. Why say like that? Only by the mercy. Then you can receive Krishna's mercy. And without that mercy, Nagati Kutubi. In Vetirik, he said, Is there any way? Is there any? No. Nagati Kutubi. Spiritual life is beyond our intelligence. This is fourth directional things. And, okay, then if it, which one is, if, if this thing is an impossible task, then why will you follow? Because this is the easiest way. Dhyan karma, dhyan jnana, dhyan yoga, bhakti yoga is the easiest way. Why? Simply, you have to follow, you have to please acharyas, then you will receive mercy, then you will get Krishna. You understand? You will earn every day, a labor is going to market, he is working, maybe he is earning how much rupees in Mumbai? In Orissa village, three, three thousand, uh, 300 rupees here. 300. No, you are not staying in Mumbai. <laughs> you are bogus. 300 rupees in Mumbai? Ah. Uh, your father has money. That for you don't know the value of money. Not less than 500, 700, 1000 rupees. Okay, he is working six hours, 1000 rupees. You understand? Working whole day, six hours, for one thousand rupees. But if you simply go to a rich man and say to him, how can I please you? Okay, just sweep here for one hour. If you, if you sweep, if you follow a rich man, order, then how much rupee he will give you? He's a rich man. Not one thousand rupees. Maybe two thousand rupees. Maybe said, okay, tomorrow I will pay you. Just go. Then if you are clever, then next day you have to come. He said, how can I please you? Okay, just clean my house. Then you have to clean. That day he may will give 10 rupees. Then if you are clever, you have to come next day. Okay, because you are only point you have to remember that he is a rich man. Any time he will shower mercy, he will shower his glance, I will become a rich. If a labor wants to become a millionaire, whole life it is not possible. You understand? We are labor. We want to become a millionaire. We want Krishna Prem. 
This impossible task. Impossible task. How will free from all these anarthas? So many impediments. Just study the sastras. Labor wants to become a millionaire. Just follow a millionaire. Try to please him. Maybe it's required time. <laughs> but he's a millionaire. Any time he will please, he will give you a blank check. You know? Blank check. How much you want, you may draw. That time you will cry. <laughs> Where I will keep all this money? <laughs> you understand? Yeah, therefore we are preparing. Guru will give you blank check. Prabhupada will give you blank check. Yes. And our sadhana version just to clean. Where will keep all this mercy? We are cleaning our heart to give place. We are preparing a pot. We are preparing, how can you say? My English is not good. You are preparing a place, suitable throne, where this mercy, Guru and Krishna's mercy will reside. You understand? Our procedure is like that. Most of the most of time, most not most of the time, many 99% devotees, they fail to understand this tattva. Therefore, they will try, 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 then they will arrest, they will give up. Because they are thinking, by our intelligence, we can do all these things. No. Bhakti Vinod Thakur said, I don't have any qualification. But I have only one, one qualification. Karma nahi, jnana nahi, Krishna bhakti nahi. I don't have karma, I don't have jnana, I don't have pious activities. I am not a knowledge person. I don't have any bhakti. Still, I am always thinking how to receive your mercy. If Krishna will ask you, you don't have karma, you don't have jnana, you don't have, then how can you receive my mercy? But he said, I have only one hope. What is that hope? Your mercy is causeless mercy. Shastra said, it does not depend on my qualification. We are not believing on our qualification. We are believing on Guru's qualification. Try to understand the qualification of Guru. But we are always worried for our qualification. You understand? Labor's position, he don't... Labor is always labor. Try to understand. Try to know the position of a rich person. Then you will develop faith. That is our qualification. Try to understand the position of Sadhu and Guru. I don't have karma, I don't have jnana, I don't have bhakti, but only my hope is ahetuki. What is that ahetuki? What it means ahetuki? Everyone, everyone wants mercy. What you are thinking? Uh, what Chandrayana, what they send? Chandrayan. Before sending Chandrayana, they went to Tirupati Mandir for worshipping. Why? Why? Mercy. Mercy. Scientist want mercy, Karmi wants mercy, Gyani want mercy, but we are a devotee, we are forgetting this mercy. <laughs> but this is path of mercy. We are depending. This is fourth directional path, dimensional path. Only mercy, <coughs> which mercy is our only hope. But we are forgetting these things. We are missing always this thing. Everyone you see, everyone. Even karmi people, before, before I don't know, now karmis even, they are not first class karmis. Everyone is third class now. Even karmis now third class karmis. Before they are first class karmis. We saw in our villages, our father, they are first class karmis. They are not like frustrated karmis, first class karmis. Therefore, they are very pointed, one pointed to their duties. They, they are following rules and regulations, worshipping demigods. Every day, first class karmi, before their karmis, even they are paying obeisance to their father, mother. Every time they are going outside paying obeisance to their father, mother. They want mercy. They used to pay obeisance to demigods. You see many demigods. They, why they are worshipping demigods? For mercy. They know us. Without mercy, we cannot do anything. Everyone knows. Everyone, but we are forgetting these things. 
Yes, we are forgetting. Mercy. No. Without mercy, it does not mean so you don't have to perform sadhana. We have to perform sadhana, but with this mood. I don't have any qualification. I am performing sadhana. How to receive mercy from spiritual master? How to receive mercy from holy name? How to receive mercy from Srimad Bhagavatam? I am worshipping Krishna. How to receive mercy from this deity, Gopinath? Yes, if you forget these things, therefore there is two types of mercy. Vishwana Chakravata Thakur mentioned in his commentary. One is saguna, saguna Kripa, one is Nirguna Kripa. Saguna Kripa. Mercy, how can you say? C- come out from mood of material nature. Like father, mother, their mercy, other superiors' mercy is Saguna Kripa. Saguna Kripa means this saw so your good qualities, whenever they will see your good qualities, they will shower mercy. When you develop bad qualities, that mercy, they will withdraw their mercies. Yeah, this is Saguna Kripa. Saguna Kripa is not helpful in the spiritual life. And we want Nirguna Kripa. Sadhu Guru's Kripa, Nirguna Kripa. Yes. You understand? So when you will receive mercy? What you are thinking? When? Huh? When you will receive? After surrender? After complete surrender. How can you complete surrender without mercy? <laughs> this is a very big job. Uh, we are leading our spiritual life with mercy. We will go forward with mercy. We are already in the spiritual life only by mercy. And our aim is also mercy. When you receive mercy, we, that we don't know. When Bhitama Bhishma Dev received mercy? After? 300 years. He was a devotee. Last moment, when he was in Arabad, you want to become a Krishna's devotee, you must have patience. <laughs> you must have patience. Yeah. We don't know when Krishna will show mercy. We don't know. I don't know. Mercy is independent. You know? Like, uh, many times Acharya is giving this commentary, maybe Jiva Goswami Chakrabhat giving this commentary, like cloud. Sometimes you see, in Navi Mumbai, rain is happening here, no rain. Sometimes in your colony there is rain, in next colony there is not rain. But you cannot demand. You cannot say to uh, Indra, why? Why this, this is not happening? No, this is under my control. Yes, mercy is like that. We cannot say when that day will come. Yeah, but that will come. We must have faith. That will come. Okay? Surely come. Surely come. Otherwise, why Krishna descended here? Why Krishna is sending his pure devotees? Something is uncertain, but not sure. <laughs> You know, if something is un- uncertain, then you cannot give sureties. But here it looks like uncertain, but sureties there. At any moment, Krishna may sour mercy, pure devotees may sour mercy. It does not considering your qualifications. Here, two, three examples are there. And this is Madhurja Kadambin Chakrapad, Vishwanath Chakrapad Thakur giving this commentary. Three, three, he is giving three examples. Oh, what time we have to finish? 9.15, eh? Okay. I'll give just these three examples. The mercy is only our hope. <coughs> Vishnu Chakotakur said about Rahugan. Huh? Yeah. King Rahugan. Jadavarat Savar mercy to his father or not? His father. No, yes, he just Savar mercy to his father. Because he is born out of father. As a father, he has a little... His mercy is different towards his father. To public, is different. Because publics, he is giving chance to see the publics. Publics have, how can you say, chance 
for seeing, for darshan of Jada Bharat. His mercy is different. They, got, they receive mercy in different way. But who, who received complete mercy? Raja, did Raja Rohogan worshipping Jada Bharat? He is not worshipping, he is chastising. Bisa, uh, Chakrabad, Chakrabad mentioned that. His words is just like poisoning words. Harsh poisoning words he is using. But he is receiving mercy. This is Sadhu's mercy. <laughs> he is receiving mercy. It does not mean Sadhu is not showering mercy. No. Complete mercy, according to, like this Mataji said, we are receiving mercy according to our surrender, according to our faith, according to our service. But complete mercy will receive. Like King uh, Chakrapath, in this commentary, he mentioning about different persons. How Jada Bharat shower mercy to different persons in different way, but complete mercy will receive. King Rahuka. The Dakats who wants to kill huh? Bharat Maharaj, they receive mercy or not? They want to kill. Then what happened? Demigod Kali, Mother Kali appear. How Mother Kali appear in front of? How Mother Kali appear in front of these Dakats? Jada Bharat pray. Mother, you should, you should sour mercy to them. Then from this deity, Mother Kali appear. You see, even to Dakats, Jadavat sour mercy. But mercy received, Rahugan received mercy, complete mercy. Rahugan received complete mercy. He is not worshipping. Therefore, mercy is independent. It does not depend on qualification. Only mercy is the cause of mercy. <laughs> yes. Sadhu, within Sadhu Sat, therefore Krishna Kripa Srimurti. This Krishna's mercy descending through parampara towards Sadhu. This mercy is within Sadhu Sat. So when Sadhu will release, he will shower mercy. Yeah. And someone say, whether Sadhu will please or not, how can I know? No, Sadhu descend here. Why descend here? To shower mercy. But what should be our qualification? Our qualification, based on two things. We have to maintain simplicity. You understand? And second point, we have to follow. If We have to follow his orders. If I will follow your orders, then... Simply follow someone's order, he become pleased. When you follow someone's order, no other qualification is required. You know, like labors, labors qualification, when he is following the order of his owner, he is qualification. So our qualification, just we have to follow the order. And following order is not also easy. We are so, you know, speculators. Speculating, we are always speculating, intelligent is there, considering different situations. No, anyhow you have to follow. There is no other way. There is no other way than following. Sadhu, Guru, Kripa, Vina, Nahi, Kaupai, there is no other way than. And second one, Nityananda Prabhu Savar Marshi to Jagai Madhai. Did Madhai worship Nityananda? And third one is Jiva Goswami in Bhakti Sandarbha giving this example of Uparachita Vasu. How the Dakaits, how the demons, they want to kill. When he was meditating in Patal, he was, Patal or Sutal, he was meditating. At that time all the demons went there, they want to kill. But when they want to kill, their swords, through their swords, the swords become, how can you say, it's, it's become like a, Hang on the sky, never fall on his head. Then they became astonished. Then they went, then approached Sukracharya. How to kill Uparachita Vasu? He said, it is not possible. Because you have, you have, how can you say, ample of faith, devotion towards Krishna. You can't kill him. Only one thing, when he developed doubt towards Bhakti, then you may kill him. Then what to do? He said, okay, then you have to know the philosophy of atheism. 
then uh, they start to study the philosophy of Nastik, atheism. Krishna is not there, Bhakti is not there. Then Asura start to study at these things. Then after complete knowledge, then again they went there. Then they start to preach Uparachita Vasu. He was meditating and he was hearing. And he, he was laughing. You see how the demons, they simply want to kill me. But for these things, they just study <laughs> atheism. They want to kill me. And immediately pray to Krishna, Krishna please make all them devotees. And immediately, within their heart, devotion came. All the, Jiva Goswami mentioning these things. Within, in, in Sandharva and Chakrabad mentioning this thing in commentary. Mm. Uh, within the heart of all the ones, the devotion arises. You see, for the devotion, whole day and night, they are not performing Mangalarati. <laughs> they are not chanting Sikhshin around. Mercy. Yeah. Mercy is very powerful. It makes impossible to possible. Whole life we have to wait when that day will come. Don't lose patience. Nothing is in our hand. Only we are following the principles of sadhu and guru. We want to please him. When he will serve mercy, then it is possible. It control like we are, we are discussing, the material energy, material flows controlling our mind, senses, intelligent. When mercy will come, mercy is a potency. What is that mercy? The mercy is a potency. Potency means it is energy. When that energy will descend, that energy will control your mind, your body. Now you are thinking, how to think about Krishna? At that time, no need. Because this spiritual energy, this mercy potency is now flowing. Automatically your mind at lotus feet of Krishna. Spontaneous, that is called spontaneous taste. Spontaneous attachment will come. That mercy is required. And Brahma received them, this mercy. So when you complete surrender, but complete surrender means by receiving mercy from sadhu, guru and vaishnavas, we have many shelters. Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Sri, uh, Sri Chaitanya, Nityananda, Sri Advaita Sita, Hari, Guru, Vaishna, Bhagavata Gita, Sri Rup, Sanatan, Bhatta Raghunath, Sri Jiva, Gopal, Bhatt, Previous acharyas are there, Shastra is there, Guru is there, Vishnu is there, Tulsi is there, Diti is there. How to receive mercy from? Collectively, we are so fallen, acharyas arrange such a place where collectively we can receive mercy from all this, all this tadiya vastus. But we are so fallen, we never de develop such attachment towards any of them. Neither towards Bhagavatam, neither towards Guru, towards Tulsi, towards deities, towards Vaishnavas. This is our condition. So, we are discussing on that point. We should not be hopeless. In devotional life, there is no question of pessimism. Always optimism is there. Our Guru used to say, always optimism. No question of pessimism. Pessimism coming means, crookedness is now in, within our heart. He is creating problem. He is creating such a drama. He want to make us far from the spiritual life. From Sadhu Guru, he, he is creating some trick things. Optimism always. Okay, now this is time. Hare Krishna. If you have some question, only one or two questions. Yeah. Okay. You already asked. Prabhuji may ask. Yeah, Prabhuji is asking, how, how can we, this is a big question, <laughs> nice question also. How can we uh, develop simplicity by give up cookedness? How to give up cookedness and develop simplicity? Bhakti Vinod Thakur in, in one of his songs, Vaishnava song, he mentioned, Kapatya, Kapatata haile dura prabhasa premara pura jivar hrudaya dhanya kare. You have to become very careful how to give up this cookedness. Yeah, how to give up this cockedness? You know, why a, chim why a child is simple? He is not using his intelligence, you know? The, I, we already discussed, many times I used to discuss these things, but most important point is one thing. How you, how you want to become simple? If you want to become simple, this is the easiest way. When we use our own intelligence, then cockedness will come. 
when we follow sadhu guru then we become simple without considering anything like it why child is simple why we said child is simple because he is following mother's intelligent not he is intelligent we have intelligent krishna gives us intelligent but in spiritual life we have to use that intelligent only to follow sadhu and guru then naturally become simple without considering anything gurudev said prabhupada said finish nothing nothing we don't have to put our intelligent whether i will achieve success or not what will happen to me why were considering all these things then go kindness will come yeah when we follow this, this is one, another many many answers are there but this is the most important thing and second thing you should associate with someone who have unflinching faith and sadhu guru is simple then this when this unflinching faith nature predominate in your heart then it becomes simple yeah simplicity means you know many many people said yes 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 they will not argue but inside they are not convinced that is not simplicity <laughs> that is not real simplicity simplicity means unflinching faith yes anyhow i don't want to hear anything except what guru my guru said acharya said prabhu said everyone have different ideas according to their sukrutis according to their intelligent according to their realization but complete realization is with acharyas so i will follow them i will follow him and he will take care of me i don't know how he will take care simple thing when you follow someone then immediately become simple you understand the simple simple simplest things yeah and for receiving mercy this is the best way once we devotee ask to gurudev maharaj always you are speaking tattva in so many direction it is very heavy it is very heavy to digest it looks like it is impossible in this life to receive prayer so please you you should you should mention a simple thing what is the easiest way to receive mercy achieve this stage of prem the easiest way to achieve prem gurudev said yes one simple thing is there a simple way shortcut way easiest way with simple faith with simple faith you understand yeah faith is there all all of you are devoted you have faith whether faith or not you have faith but still doubt is there <laughs> yeah with simple faith unflinching faith you have if you are you have unflinching faith towards sadhu guru vaishnav and shastra and following their orders that is the easiest way to receive prem there is no other way there is no other easiest way everything is difficult you have to choose now in which way you have to in which way you have to go you have to choose and this is the easiest way i don't know what is good what is bad whether i will deliver in this material world or not even in my dreaming conditions sleeping condition awakening condition i cannot forget what my gurudev instructed me his mantra his procedure his sadhan is my life and soul this is vivasaitmika buddhist commentary of vishwana chakotakur sukham astu dukham astu sansara nasyatu vana nasyatu i like this commentary whether i will in happiness or distress whether i will deliver from this world or not i don't care on these things i don't have any other thoughts this is my guru's responsibilities i have to only develop this mentality of a loyal dog you understand we are a dog now but street dog street dog where is where you can find good food nice food you will run there i am not like street dog you understand we want to become a loyal dog owner may kill me kick me whether feed me or not i am loyal dog this this loyal dog mentality will give you success that is simplicity 
I don't want to consider this one thing is there, this is there, that is there, whatever it may be, I don't care. My job is to serve my spiritual master. Unless you will serve mercy, what can I do? Loyalty should be there without considering anything. That will give you success. Okay, now this is time. You have to take prasadam. How many questions are there? Okay, next time you may ask. <laughs> you are worried always. You want to become brahmachari? No. You are brahmachari or you don't want to become brahmachari? Want, eh? Ah, there are four questions. Good. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to say? Uh, many times we can't approach Guru directly. That's why we have our mentors and counselors <coughs> as a counselor system is there. And we are, talk we are talking about following the principles. And in day-to-day -day practical life, we have so many questions and we are required guidance at a certain stage of our life. And uh, we may seek the uh, shelter of our counselors or mentors those who are representing our spiritual master and they are gu asking guidance. So many times they are giving the advice which is not practically possible for us and we, we are knowing that some, it has some pros and cons. And I can give you an answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now this question is coming from the disciples, even Krishna cannot answer him, convince him. A simple thing, Krishna cannot convince him. You, Arjun said whether I have to fight or not, 700 words require to convince Arjun. <laughs> Arjun was so talent. Directly Krishna was preaching him. Now how many questions are coming to counsellors or gurus? This anarthas, that anarthas. You see, simple thing is there. A counsellor is helping you. Uh, whatever is according to his standard, he is helping you. But Krishna will help you from inside. Shastra is there. From outside, Shastra is there. Guru is also there. If you develop a proper mood, our Gurudev used to say, because why I am mentioning Gurudev's name, this is practical things. Otherwise, I saw, I was traveling everywhere, devotees are uh, these questions, they are always feeling morose, I don't have any contact with my Guru. I never talk with my Guru. Maybe in my lifetime, two, three years, 92 I joined, 96 Gurudev left. Three times or four times personally we talk with our Guru. Not about spiritual life, about service. Hey, whether we are distributing books or not. Yes, yes, yes. Finish. We never, we never write any mail to our Guru. We never write, send any WhatsApp, WhatsApp message or mail or never. Ask whatever we are hearing in class, immediately we try to adopt in our life. Guru said these things, I have to try. We never approach Guru for small, small things. This unearth us, that unearth us. No. Gurudev said these things. Okay, I have to try. Then when you try, Guru will help you. And one practical thing Gurudev always used to say. When any devotee asks a question, Gurudev said, Are Baba, how many, how many questions you will ask? <laughs> this doubt will always come to your mind. Problems will always come to your mind. Best thing, chant properly. Krishna will give you pure intelligence. To solve our problems, pure intelligence requires. And Krishna is in within our heart. And Krishna is also in this counselor's heart, uh, Gurudev's heart. Same Krishna is residing in everyone's heart. So just if you are chanting properly, proper consciousness will come, proper pure intelligence. Gurudev always you think, oh, you, you don't have pure intelligence, therefore you are not serving properly. Why pure intelligence is not there? Because you are not chanting nicely. If you chant nicely, pray nicely, then Krishna will immediately give you pure intelligence. No need to always ask how many lives or how many years you will ask like that. But even when you pray seriously, when you study, immediately find, oh, Prabhupada said here. When you hear from Vaishnavas, oh, here. When you hear from Guru, immediately you realize. Same thing is, Guru is saying something. Shastra is, Shastra is mentioning something, but because we don't have pure intelligence, we want to hear again and again and again and again. But never we keep an, these things in your mind or intelligence. Always you have to pray and chant nicely. That pure intelligent. Intelligent will not help us in spiritual life. Pure intelligent will help us. And pure intelligent will help by service, by surrender, by praying, by chanting. Krishna will give you intelligence. 
and that intelligent will inject to your mind even when your inter your intelligent always give you some direction then immediately saying negative side positive side negative side positive side but when intelligent come from guru shastra from acharyas from holy name that will inject to your intelligent that time one direction only okay i have to do this and whenever you study whenever you hear only one point then you will confirm na yes this is guru teacher let's do and arrangement accordingly come so practical not you see you, it may not be practical for you but bhakti yoga is always same we cannot change the principles how to receive mercy mercy you have to receive prem through same way yeah qualification may be different but procedure is same sadhu sanga bhajan kriya anartha nivritti nishta shakti but you can cross over all these stages simply by mercy so many anarthas has there are so many stages are there are so many steps are there are, but simply things mercy make impossible to possible if you receive mercy from vaishnavas guru redis everything guru this is guru's mercy what is guru's mercy not only guru sawar mercy from his own accord actually he is arranging this family he is arranging this society where we can receive mercy from different tadya vastus different sources so this is our duty not that always counselor can help you prabhu ji i cannot work up in mangalarti what to do and then counselor will say okay don't eat in night time okay then you will not eat in night time then again you will wake up hey, you cannot wake up then you will ask prabhu ji i am not eating in night time but still i am unable to wake up okay then he will say okay you have to sleep early don't watch mobile then you have to stop this is this pure intelligence will come krishna will give you these things from inside okay okay thank you now this is time jay granth rasa shrimad bhagavatam ki jay radha gopinath ji ki jay sila prabhupad ki jay gaur nitanand prabhu ki jay sambhit bhakt vrinda ki jay nitai gaur pramanande hari hari bol hare krishna hare krishna